evening, everyone, and welcome to Rhymers Will Be Readers for Monday, February 14th, 2022. I hope that you're doing well and that you had a wonderful weekend and that you were able to spend some time with friends and family over the weekend. So I'm just, there's something here that's popped up. Again, I'm just going to close it out. Excuse me. There we go. Let's start with our thank, uh, our welcome song. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With all our friends from early on, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With all our friends from early on, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With all our friends from early on, we stomp and sing hello. Once again, good morning on this beautiful, beautiful sunny morning. It's chilly and cold outside, but with the sun shining, it is so gorgeous out there. I thought we could maybe sing a song about a snowflake. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes falling on my head. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes on my hands. Just because there's still snow out there and still snow on the ground and we probably, we had some snow fall on us this weekend as well. But did you know that today, February 14th, is Valentine's Day? So happy Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day has so many different meanings for many different people. But one thing that Valentine's Day can mean for some people is a way to say, I love you to the people that you love in your life. Friends, families, pets, your stuffed animals. So it is a wonderful opportunity to be able to say, I love you. So I thought we could sing some songs that you can are able to express your love to your family members. So we can sing or friends or your stuffed animals or your pets. So we can sing together. The first song is a familiar song with a little bit of the changing of the words again. So it goes, if you love me and you know it, clap your hands. If you love me and you know it, clap your hands. If you love me and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love me and you know it, clap your hands. How about if you love me and you know it, blow a kiss. If you love me and you know it, blow a kiss. If you love me and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love me and you know it, blow a kiss. If you love me and you know it, say, I love you. If you love me and you know it, say, I love you. If you love me and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love me and you know it, say, I love you. If you love me and you know it, Give a hug. If you love me and you know it, give a hug. If you love me and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you love me and you know it, give a hug. So, those are some examples of what you can do to say, I love you. Either say, I love you, or give a hug, or blow a kiss. That's one way that, that you can tell people in your life or animals in your life, or stuffed animals in your life, or favorite toys in your life that you love them. So another way is, is a song that says, a hug from you. So this way, again, you can, at the end of the song, you can, whoever you're with right now, you can give them a hug. So it goes, it's nice to get a hug from you, a hug from you, a hug from you. It's nice to get a hug from you. So let's give one right now. So whoever you're with, give them a hug. Yeah, 
very nice. Hugs are such a lovely way to be able to, to express how you feel about somebody. Let's sing that one again. It's nice to get a hug from you, hug from you, hug from you. It's nice to get a hug from you, so let's give one right now. So hug whoever you're with. Lovely, very nice. So another one that might be a very familiar one um, that is a way to say that you love somebody is you are my sunshine. Maybe your parents have sang this to you before or you've heard them sing it to each other even maybe. So you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear how much i love you please don't take my sunshine away such a beautiful song let's sing it again you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray you'll never know dear how much i love you please don't take my sunshine away lovely that's a wonderful song that you can sing again to the people in your life that you love and who love you back as well so another one is let's see sometimes the tune so forgive me if the tune i go a little bit off so i'll try it out let's see it goes love 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 see how it grows See how it grows. I love my friends and they love me. We love others and then you'll see there's more than enough for a big family. Love, 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 love. That's a new one for me, so let's try that one again. So, love, 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 love. See how it grows, see how it grows. I love my friends and they love me. We love others and then you'll see there's more than enough for a big family. Love, 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 love. So that song, what that makes me think about is how when you love others, there's that ripple impact of it spreading to even more people and more people and more people, which is a beautiful thought about how love can spread more and more as we give out to each other. So another song that might introduce you to some of my Valentines and my friends is called, Do You Know My Valentine? So you can do this with people in your life, or you can do it with your stuffies, or you can do it with um, your uh, pets as well, just whoever that, that you like. So I'm gonna use my stuffed animals this morning, or a few of them, and it goes, do you know my valentine, my valentine, my valentine? Do you know my valentine? His name is Bruno the bear. Here he is. He's one of my valentines. Let's see if I have another one. Do you know my valentine, my valentine, my valentine? Do you know my valentine? His name is <gasps> Frankie the Frog. See, here he is. He goes hop, 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 hop. Do you know my valentine? My valentine, my valentine. Do you know my valentine? His name is <gasps> Sammy Stegosaurus. I think I've, I've shown him to you before. So he's also one of my Valentines too. So very fun. That's a fun one that you can sing where you can introduce other people to, to, uh, to who you love as well. And so what I was thinking about and what I'm really, really excited about, and I wonder if you know that Oxford early on is going to be offering at in person, infant massage program for parents and their children ages birth to a year. So if you have a child who is uh, age birth to a year, you can sign up for our in-person 
Infant Massage. It will be happening here in Woodstock at the Southside Aquatic Center. It will be starting on February 28th from 10 to 11.30 for five weeks. And the registration deadline is February 25th at three o'clock. So check out our website, oxfordearlyon.ca and check out Keon to be able to register. Infant Massage is a program where you as a parent will learn how to bond even more with your child through the use of nurturing touch. So I hope that you're able to sign up and we're really excited to be starting to offer in-person uh, programming as well. So we hope to see you in person very soon. And so I was also thinking since it's Valentine's Day, another way to show people that you love them is to tell them, is to give them a hug, blow them a kiss, but another way is to write them a card. So you can just take some paper and write whatever you like, draw whatever you like, and tell that other person and give it to them a card that says, I love you. That is one way that you can celebrate Valentine's Day uh, and tell the people in your life that you care for them. It's just writing or making a simple card, even sharing with them in that card why you love them. So that would be my challenge for you today is to get some of your craft supplies together or your coloring materials, your markers, your crayons, your paper, and to make somebody that you really love a card today, wishing them a happy Valentine's Day and telling them that you love them. So it's actually already time to say goodbye. So again, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Monday and a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day. And so we're going to sing our goodbye song. We clap goodbye like this. We clap goodbye like this with all our friends from early on. We clap goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this with all our friends from early on. We wave goodbye like this. We stop goodbye like this. We stop goodbye like this with all our friends from early on. We stop goodbye like this. Again, have a wonderful day. We look forward to seeing you in our virtual programs or very soon in person. Until next time.